Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here. As promised, here are the YouTube videos that are going to walk you through step-by-step step how to make these beautiful little baby booties. The tools you're going to need is a skein of yarn. The yarn that you should have is Go Handmade Cozy. You will need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a stitch marker. Now that you have the supplies that you need in order to create the booties, the first thing that we're going to do is find the end of the yarn. So to do that, just grab your skein of yarn and you can put your fingers in either end of that skein of yarn and just grab some yarn from the inside and give it a pull. So when you do that, um, you might get quite a bit of yarn that comes out. And so with that, that's okay. Just sort through the uh, wacky yarn that you just pulled out of the skein and find the end of the uh, yarn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. So we need to have something to put the uh, crochet hook into. So it's just like making a knot in any uh, yarn or piece of string. You're just not going to pull the end all the way through. So give it a twist and pull that yarn through the loop and then just give it a little bit of a tug here. So now that we've got our loop we can insert our crochet hook and give it a little tug there now it's nice and secure on our crochet hook so now once you've got your crochet hook in that loop and it's all nice and snug we are I'm going to show you how I hold the yarn in my hand in order to keep a good tension so the way that I do it is I just grab my uh, pinky finger and I'm going to scoop the yarn up so just your, your pinky finger, scoop that yarn up, and I'm gonna wrap that yarn around my index finger. So when I do that, I've got the yarn that's right here in between my two uh, fingers, my pinky finger and my ring finger. And by keeping my fingers together, I'm keeping some tension on that yarn. What I'm also doing is I'm making sure that that yarn is also in my knuckle of my pinky finger. So by doing that, when I open and close my hand, I can control the tension on the stitch as well. So again, I'm just going to scoop the yarn, wrap it around my index finger, and there we go. We've got my, the tension in our yarn. The next thing I'm going to do is take my thumb and my middle finger, and I'm going to hang on to that tail end of that yarn. So right now, I've got the yarn in between my two fingers. I've got it in my knuckle wrapped around my index finger and I'm also hanging on to the tail end of that yarn. So by doing that, I've got quite a bit of tension here. I can control it with my pinky finger and then we're ready to get started. So now that we have our yarn in place in our hand, I'm going to show you how to make a chain stitch. The chain stitch is the very first stitch in any crochet project. So to do that, we're going to take that crochet hook and I'm going to wrap it around the yarn. I'm going to hook it and pull it through that loop. Okay, so that's our very first chain stitch. We're going to need 10 of them for the beginning of this baby booty. So there's one. I'm going to do another one. So again, wrap that hook around the yarn, pull the yarn through the loop, and there's two chains. So we're going to do that again. There's three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I'm gonna show you what the chain is made up of. So I'm gonna take my hook and show you that each chain looks like a little V. So we have 10 little V's that formed this chain. Now in that chain, we have a top loop and a bottom loop. So in order to create the baby booties, we are going to be working in the round. So when I see the bottom of the baby booty here, this here is the very first chain that I would have created. And we're gonna be working down one side of the chain and up the other side. So to do that, it's important to know where the top stitch and the bottom stitch is. So the very first round we're going to be doing is working in the top loop only. And when we come around the corner and up the other side, we're gonna be working that bottom loop, okay? So another thing to know here is where, which stitch are we going to work in first? 
So this very top one here, that's the first chain from the hook. We're not gonna work in the first chain. We're gonna work in the second chain from the hook. So that's this chain right here. Now again, we're only gonna be using that top loop only for the first row. And then when we come around and work the other end, uh, we're gonna be working that bottom loop. I've drawn a diagram here to show you exactly what we're, what we're going to be doing with the first round of the sole of the baby booty. So these blue dots that I've drawn here are the chains that we've just created on our hook. We're gonna be working in the second chain from the hook. And from there, we're gonna create two half double crochets in that very first stitch. We're going to put one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. We're gonna have one stitch left, and in that one stitch, we're going to be putting five half double crochets. When, we're in, when we work up the other side of the uh, sole, again, we're gonna be doing the seven half double crochets because whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side as well. So since we put five half double crochets in this end, we're gonna to have to put three more in the other end to match the five that we did on this side. So if you're a first time crocheter, or even if you crocheted for a while, now is the time that we're going to use our stitch markers. So what I like to do is I like to use just a scrap piece of yarn. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense to you as we continue on with the project. Um, but if you'd rather use the stitch marker like this, you can use that one as well. But for me, I'm going to use the uh, scrap piece of yarn and I'm just gonna lay it on top of that loop that's on my hook here, okay? so. The very first stitch that we're going to be doing is a half double crochet. So to do this, we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook, just like we did with the chain. Um, and from here, you can hang on to it with your thumb. And again, we're going to be working in the top loop of the second chain from the hook. So that's going to be this one right here. So I'm going to insert my hook in that top loop only I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my hook and pull it through. Okay, so from here, we will have three loops on our, on our crochet hook. Once you've got your three loops on your crochet hook, you're gonna wrap that yarn around your hook again, and you're gonna pull that yarn through all three of those loops. Okay, so what you've done now is you've created your very first half double crochet. So to continue with that, we need to put another one in that same hole, right? Because we need to increase our stitches on the ends so that the slipper lays flat. So we're gonna half double crochet one more time in that very same hole. So again, wrap the yarn around your hook, hold it with your thumb, insert into that same hole, pull the yarn through. You should have three loops on your hook. You're gonna grab that yarn and pull that yarn through all three loops. Okay, so we have our very first increase, two half double crochets in the very first uh, stitch. Okay, so now we're gonna be working that side of the uh, sole, which means seven half double crochets. So one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. Okay, so again, we're gonna wrap the yarn around that hook, insert into the top loop only, pull the yarn through the, the loop, and we have three on our, on our hook and pull it through all three. So there's one. We're gonna do the same thing. Insert into that top loop only, pull through. There's two. And there's three. And four. Five. six and seven okay so we have our seven along the side perfect and now we should have one more chain left if it looks like you have two it's because your slip knot at the very beginning might be a little bit loose so if you pull on that tail and close that loop up you're going to be able to see that you only have one loop left okay so that's our loop that we're going to be putting five half double crochets into. Okay, so wrap your yarn, hold it with your thumb in that top loop only and through all three loops. So there's one. We're gonna do it again four more times in that exact same hole. Okay, so there's two and there's three. 
there's three and four and there's our fifth all right so you can see that we've got the side of our sole and the end done now we're going to work the other side so again we did seven on this side we're going to have to do seven on the other side so when you're working the other side of that chain, we have the tail that uh, we have from our beginning uh, stitch, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna wrap that into our crochet uh, stitches so that it's nice and secure. So the way that I'm gonna do that is when I make my first half double crochet in this next stitch, I'm gonna wrap the yarn around that tail. So wrap your yarn around your hook you're going to insert into that very first stitch and keeping the tail yarn over your crochet hook you're going to wrap the yarn and pull it through okay so our tail is now being wrapped around that stitch okay so there's our very first half double crochet on the other side so we're going to do the same thing wrap your yarn around your hook insert and again that tail i'm going to put it right on top of my crochet hook there's two and there's our third half double crochet i'm going to do the same thing wrap that tail okay so we've done our three on that side at this point you don't have to worry about that tail anymore we'll cut that off as soon as we're done this round uh, so we do need to make the other ones so half double crochet into the next stitch okay so there's four and there's five and there's six and our seventh all right so we have one left okay now it's the same hole that we've put our very first two half double crochets into so because we put two of them we're going to have to add three so that it matches the five that we did on the other end okay so we're going to add three more into that very last stitch so there's one, two, and three. So we're almost done that first round. The next thing that we're going to do is we need to connect our last stitch with our very first stitch. So this is where the, the um, stitch marker comes into play. We can see where that very first stitch is. Okay, so that for that first round, we were working the top loop of the V and the bottom loop of the V. But now that we've finished that first round, we're gonna start working both legs of that V, okay? So to connect the last stitch with the first stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. So to do that, you're gonna take your hook, insert into that very first stitch, make sure that you have both legs of that V on your hook. You're gonna grab the yarn, pull it through that V, and you're also going to pull it through the loop that you have on your hook. Okay, so there you have it. There's the very first round of your sole of the baby booty. So in this very first one, we've done um, the five on each side and the seven across. So for the next one, we're going to have to increase those very end stitches, okay? So in the very first two stitches, we're going to be increasing those stitches. We're gonna be two half double crochets in the very first two stitches. We're gonna not make any changes on the side, so it's gonna be seven half double crochets along the side of the baby booty. Now, in the very first round where we made five half double crochets, we need to increase them. So we're gonna put two half double crochets in the next five stitches, okay? So five sets of increases the next and the other side of that uh, sole. No changes, again, it's going to be seven half double crochets. And because we added the three at the end of that first round, we're gonna have to do three sets of increases again. Okay, so let's get started with round two of that sole. So the first thing that we're going to do, now that we've slip stitched and we connected that last stitch with the first stitch, we need to chain one. So by chaining one, it's bringing our work to the next level of what the height is of the half double crochet, okay? So we've chained one to bring our work up to that level. Now we're gonna take that yarn, that spare piece of yarn, and I'm going to just lay it on top of that uh, chain or the hook 
the, the, the loop that's on my hook. Um, again, I'm not going to pull it out because I want to be able to see where that stitch was, okay, that very first stitch that I made, and I also want to mark my next first stitch in this round, okay? So when you're using uh, just a, a normal stitch marker like this, you need to take it out and then replace it. But by using the yarn, I can keep it in the very first stitch and I can continue marking my next stitches. And it's important right now, especially if you've never crocheted before, because what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to crochet into that very first stitch. So if you take out the stitch marker, you might lose where that stitch was. So now that we've chained one to bring our work up, we are now going to make our two half double crochets in that first loop. So again, to make a half double crochet, we're going to wrap the yarn around that hook, hold it with your thumb, and insert into that very first stitch. Okay, so pull the yarn through, you've got your three loops on your hook, and pull it through. Okay, so that's our very first stitch, but we're need, we need to increase. So we need to put another half double crochet in that very same stitch. So we're gonna insert the hook, pull through. So we've done our very first increase. We need to do one more increase. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so now we've done our two sets of increases. Now to work the other side, no change, seven half double crochets. Okay, so one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, so there we have it. Um, now that brings us to the end of the sole where we made five half double crochets in that very first round. So in each of those five stitches, we're gonna have to increase. So the way that I do that so that I can keep it straight in my head is I will just half double crochet and go one, one, two, two, so that's two sets of increases, three, three, four, four, and five, five. So by just counting it twice like that, I can keep on track and I know that I've now completed five sets of increases. So that brings us to the side of that sole because we did seven on this side, we're gonna have to do seven on the other side. So again, half double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one and two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. Okay, so because we did three at the last, at the end of the previous row, we're gonna have to increase three times. So you should have three stitches remaining. It may look like you have four stitches, right? It looks like one, two, three, and maybe four, but that last stitch is actually the slip stitch that you made to connect the last stitch and the first stitch in that very first round. So that is not considered a stitch. It was just to connect the two. Okay, so we're never gonna work in that slip stitch. We're only gonna work in the crochet stitches that we made. So three is what you should have, okay? So again, we're increasing. So we're gonna put two half double crochets into the next three stitches. So there's one, one, two, two, and three, uh, three. Okay, so just like we did in that very first round, we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch, okay? So because you have that stitch marker in there, you know exactly where that stitch is. So again, make sure that your hook goes under both legs of that V. 
and you're going to pull that yarn through the V and also through the loop that you have on your hook. Okay, so that completes round two. So for round three, I'm gonna pull out that handy dandy uh, little diagram here. So we've finished round one, we finished round two, and we're on to round three. So again, just like we did in the very first two, we're gonna increase those ends, okay? So where we increased uh, that the second round, we put two half double crochets in each. We're gonna change that up a little bit. Instead of putting two in both, we're gonna put two in the first and one in the next. So we're gonna have sets of increase and one, increase and one. So we're gonna make uh, two sets in the very first part and around the other end, because we have the five that we were working with, we're gonna do five sets of increase one. And at the end, again, three sets of increase one. Okay, and, the, and along the sides, no change again, seven half double crochets. Okay, so let's get started on round three. So just like we did in round two, we're gonna chain one so that we bring our work up to the same height of the half double crochets that we're going to be creating. And then we're gonna take that stitch marker again and bring it forward and lay it across the loop that's on your hook. Okay, I'm not gonna pull it out because I still wanna be able to see that very first stitch, okay? So again, for the first one, two half double crochets. The next one after that will be one half double crochet and that's a set. So half double crochet, two half double crochets in that first loop. So we have one and two and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's one set. So we need to do one more set. So two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that completes the very first two sets of increases. Now we're working along the edge, and again, no change, one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So wrap your yarn, insert your hook, there's one, and two, and three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so now we're ready to work the increases on the other end of that sole. So I'm sure you're gonna end up having your own little chant in your head, but for me, the way that I do it is I'll say increase one. So when I say increase, I'm putting two uh, stitches in that first uh, stitch and then I'm going to do one in the next. So when I count the next one is where I'm going to be keeping track. So this is what I will do. I will do in crease one. There's my first set. I'll say in crease two, there's my second set, in crease three, in crease four, so then we have one more set, and in crease and five. All right, so there's our increases on the end of that sole. Now we're working the side again, no change, one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. All right, so we're gonna finish that off. So we have increases to do right here as well. The three that we had in the very beginning that now turned into six. Okay, so you should have six stitches left. And remember that very last one, although it may look like a stitch, it's not. It's your slip stitch from the previous one. So again, our chant will be in crease 
one in crease two and in crease three. All right, so the next part that we're going to be working on is the upper part of the booty. We're going to be working the uh, back loop only again on these stitches. And the reason why we're going to do that is because by working just these back loops only and leaving these front loops free, it's creating a bit of a ridge here on the baby booty. So we can clearly see where the sole ends and the top part of the baby booty begins. Okay, so to do that, um, what we're going to do is again, we're always going to do the chain to bring our work up to that same level. I'm going to take that stitch marker and push it over. So I'm marking my next stitch. Okay. So what we're going to do is half double crochet in the top loop only all around the booty. So at this point, I need you to count your stitches. You should have 44 stitches. Okay, if you don't have 44 stitches, we're gonna have a problem uh, continuing with the, the booty because when we create the toe part here, when we shape the toe, I'm going to be telling you how many stitches to make before we start doing the toe shaping. So if, you're, if you don't have 44 stitches, your stitches will be off. So please make sure that you have 44 stitches. Okay, so let's get started on working that back loop only all around the booty. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook and we're going to insert it into the back loop only of that very first stitch. You should be able to see that first stitch because you've got your stitch marker in place there, okay? So again, back loop only, wrap your yarn and you've got your three loops on your hook and pull it through all three. So we've got our very first stitch on the top part of the booty. So we're going to continue the back loop only all around. So there's one and two. Okay, so here we are at our 44th stitch. Again, that last one that may look like a stitch is actually the slip stitch, okay? So I've got my 44 half double crochets and I'm going to connect that, that last stitch with the first with a slip stitch. So insert into both legs of that V, pull through and again, and now we've completed the very first round of the top part of the baby booty. Okay, so hopefully you had 44 stitches. So the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we are going to start the next round. So chain one, as always. And at this point, um, I'm gonna change it up a little bit on you. Okay, so what we've been doing so far is we've always been using the next stitch right where we can clearly see uh, with our stitch marker but in this case what I need you to do is skip that first one and we're going to go into the second one the reason why I'm doing that is because right now if you look at the baby booty our stitches aren't centered they're, they're not centered uh, in that baby booty okay so what I need you to do is put it in the second stitch that way we're going to have the even number of stitches on both sides of that sole okay so again, we're not gonna work in the very next stitch. Place your stitch marker 
and we're gonna do a single crochet, no more half double crochets, okay? So single crochet into the second loop, okay? So to do a single crochet, we're not gonna wrap our yarn anymore. We're just gonna insert our yarn into that second stitch, pull through. You should only have two loops on your hook now, and we're gonna pull that yarn through both hooks, or through both hoops, okay? So that's the very first single crochet. So we're gonna work our way around the, the, uh, the booty, okay? So again, we're gonna need 44, but because we skipped that first stitch, we're gonna use that slip stitch. So I've been telling you all along that that slip stitch is not a stitch, but in this next round, we're going to be using it as a stitch because we skipped the first one. So in order to keep our numbers correct, we need 44 stitches, so we're gonna use that slip stitch, okay? So there's one, and we're gonna single crochet all the way around. So just insert your hook, pull through, wrap, and pull through both loops. There's two, we're gonna go three, Okay, so work your way around and I'll meet you back at the 44th stitch. So this is 43 and that's my slip stitch, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for my 44th stitch. All right, so I, I still have 44. I just, I shifted. I shifted my work over one stitch so that we can make sure that we're centered and that we have the same amount of stitches on both sides of the booty so that when we shape our toe, our toe is going to be centered. Okay, so that was my 44th single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into that very first stitch, pull through. All right, so that is the end of round two on the upper part of the baby booty. So for round three, this is where we're going to start shaping that toe. For round three of the top part of the baby booty, I have my handy dandy little diagram again. Um, I hope that these are helping you guys. Uh, so what I've done here is I have divided the top half and the bottom half. So the bottom half here is where we're going to be shaping the toe. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going to just single crochet the very first 11 stitches. We're then going to do a half double crochet two together and then a half double crochet in the following two stitches. So that is going to be our set. Um, we're going to be doing um, five sets of that. And whatever we do on one side of the booty, we're gonna have to repeat it on the other side to make sure that they're even. So because we've started with a half double crochet two together, we're gonna have to end with a half double crochet two together. So even though it's outside of our sets, we're still gonna do it because it has to be the same on both sides, okay? So after we've done that, it should leave you with 11 stitches and we're gonna single crochet 11 stitches. As always, we're going to chain one to bring our work up to that level and mark your stitch. And we're going to do 11 single crochets. So single crochet again, we're just going to insert our hook into that same stitch, okay, where we have our stitch marker coming out of. Pull through, you should have two loops on your hook and pull through that. So there's one. We're gonna do 11, so two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so now we're gonna start shaping the toe. So the very first stitch that we need to, to shape that toe is 
we're going to half double crochet two together. So we're creating an, a decrease, okay? So um, in the sole of the booty, we were doing increases, but now we're gonna do decreases. So to do the two half double crochets two together, we're gonna start it off the same way as we would do a normal half double crochet by wrapping that yarn around our hook, hold it with your thumb, insert into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, which gives you the three loops on your hook. Now from this point, we wanna connect the next one, the next stitch. So we're gonna insert the, the crochet hook into the very next stitch, bring the yarn through that V. So now you have four loops on your hook. Okay, so we're gonna wrap the yarn around your hook and we're gonna pull that yarn through all four loops. So what you've done there is that you've taken two stitches and you've created one stitch, so you've decreased. Okay, so the next two stitches will be a half double crochet in each. So half double crochet one and half double crochet two. Okay, so that's our very first uh, set. So we need to do four more sets of those. Okay, so the next two stitches will be together. So half double crochet, two together. Insert, pull through, you have three on your three loops on your hook. We're gonna grab that hook and insert it into the next stitch. Pull the yarn through. There's our four loops. Pull through all four. And we're gonna half double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, that was our second set. We're gonna do our third set. So half double crochet, two together. Wrap the yarn, insert, pull through, three loops. Insert into the next one, pull through. Now we have four loops and we're gonna pull through all four loops. Okay, the next two stitches will be half double crochets. So there's one half double crochet and two. So now we'd have to do that set again. So half double crochet two together, insert, pull through. We have three loops, insert, pull through, four loops and pull through all four and half double crochet in the next two stitches. All right, and one more set to go. Half double crochet two together again. So pull through, you have three loops insert the next stitch, pull through, there's our four loops, and pull through all four, and half double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so that was our fifth set. But now, remember, we started with a half double crochet two together, so we have to end with a half double crochet two together. So half double crochet, insert three loops, insert into the next one, and pull through all four. So that finishes the toe part of the baby booty. So you should have 11 stitches left. So it will be a single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So to single crochet, again, you're not wrapping the hook. You're just going to insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, and pull through both loops on your hook. So there's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Again, that's my slip stitch, not a stitch. We're going to slip stitch again in that very first stitch to join that last stitch and the first stitch. And that was the very first round of the toe shaping. All right, so for the next round of the toe shaping, I will pull out that diagram one more time. Okay, so again, I've divided the top part and the bottom part. And in the first round, we did 11 single crochets and then we started the toe shaping. For this one, we're going to do 12 single crochets before we start the toe shaping. Okay, so single crochet 12. We're gonna half double crochet the next one. We're gonna half double crochet two together for the next one. And after that, we're going to double crochet two together. So the double crochet two together will be the beginning of the series. So we're gonna do that four times, okay? 
that's going to create the uh, half the this toe part right here where it's uh, the stitch is a little bit longer than the others. Okay. Once you've done your four double crochets two together, because we started this way with the half double crochet and the half double crochet two together, we need to finish that way. So same thing, half double crochet two together, one half double crochet, and you will have 12 stitches left for the single crochets. Okay. So let's get started and get that next round done. So like always, chain one and mark your stitch. Okay, so we're going to do single crochets in the next 12 stitches. So insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull through, you've got your two loops, there's one single crochet. And there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so we have our 12 single crochets. Our next stitch is a half double crochet. So we're going to wrap the yarn around that hook, insert into the next stitch, pull through, there's our three loops, pull through all three loops. Okay, that's a half double crochet. The next one will be half double crochet two together. So start it off like a regular half double crochet, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through, three loops on your hook. We're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, pull through the yarn, and have four loops on our hook. We're going to pull that yarn through all four loops, and that was a half double crochet two together. So the next stitch is going to be a double crochet two together. So to do a double crochet two together, we're going to start it off by wrapping the yarn around that hook, insert into the next stitch, pull through, you have three loops on your hook. Now we're going to wrap our hook again and pull that yarn through the very first two loops. Okay, we're not going to pull it through all three, we're only going to pull it through two. So now you have two loops on your hook, we're going to wrap that yarn again around the hook, we're going to insert it into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, now you have four loops on your hook, you're going to bring that yarn through the very first two loops again, only the first two, which leaves you three loops on your hook, and now we're going to pull the yarn through all three. Okay, so that was a double crochet, two together. So we need to do three more of those. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, you've got three loops on your hook, you're going to pull the yarn through the very first two loops, okay? Not three, just two. Wrap your yarn again, insert into the next stitch, pull through, you have four loops on your hook, pull through the very first two, which leaves you the three, and now pull through all three. So that's your second double crochet two together. One more. Wrap your yarn, insert into the next stitch, pull through. Okay, you have three loops on your hook, pull through the very first two. Now you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook again, insert into the next stitch, pull through, giving you four loops on your hook, pull through the very first two, and now pull through all three. Okay, one more half to, or sorry, one more double crochet two together, so around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull through, three loops, or you're going to pull the yarn through the first two loops, okay, wrap your yarn around that hook again, insert into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, now you have four on your hook, you're going to pull the yarn through the very first two loops, and now we're going to pull through all three. All right, so that was our four uh, double crochet two together. So we're going to end it the same way we started it. So the next one will be a half double crochet two together. So 
wrap your yarn around your hook, insert your hook, pull the yarn through, so you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through, now you have four loops on your hook, and pull the yarn through all four loops. Okay, so that's your half double crochet two together, and the next stitch will be the just a half double crochet. So wrap your yarn, insert, pull through, and now pull through all three. So we've completed the toe shaping for the third round. So you should have a let or sorry, 12 stitches left. So we're going to single crochet in the next 12 stitches. So insert your hook, pull through, and both loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Perfect. Okay, so again, connect that last stitch with the first stitch with a slip stitch, insert under both legs, pull through, and also pull through the loop on your hook. So that completes that round. So now we're going to start with the last round of the toe shaping. All right, so I have a diagram for that as well. Again, split into two. So this time we're going to go back to the 11 uh, single crochets to start with. And then to shape that toe, we're going to do a half double crochet two together. The next stitch will be a double crochet two together. We're gonna do that three times, and then we're gonna finish it off with a half double crochet two together again which will leave you with 11 stitches remaining for the single crochets. Okay, so as always, chain one and set your stitch marker. Okay, so 11 single crochets. So insert your hook into that very first stitch And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's eleven. Okay, so now we're going to shape the toe and our first stitch will be a half double crochet two together. So again, wrap your yarn, insert your hook, pull through. You've got the three loops on your hook. Insert into the next one, pull through. You've got four loops and pull through all four. So that's our first half double crochet two together. And now we're going to do a double crochet two together. So wrap the yarn around that hook insert, pull through, you've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna pull the yarn through the very first two stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna wrap the yarn around our hook again and insert into the next stitch. Pull through, again, you've got four loops on your hook. We're gonna pull the yarn through only the very first two, leaving you with three loops on your hook, and we're gonna pull the yarn through all three. So there's one half double crochet, or sorry, one double crochet two together. We need to do another one. So wrap your, your yarn around your hook, insert, pull through the first two, wrap your yarn around your hook, insert, and pull through the very first two again, and pull through all three. So there's the second double crochet two together. One more, insert, very first two, insert again, the first two, and now through all three. Okay, so that was our third double crochet two together. So now we are going to do a half double crochet two together. 
So wrap your yarn, insert into the next stitch, pull through. We have three loops. Insert into the next one again, pull through. There's our four and pull through all four. Okay, so you should have 11 stitches left for the single crochets. So let's single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's eleven. And we're going to slip stitch again into that very first stitch, pull through, and that's the end of the last row of the toe shaping. So now we're going to work on the top part of the baby booty. So hopefully you're still with me and you didn't get too confused there. Um, but the next part is going to be super easy. Um, no more of the toe shaping. We're completely done with that. We're now going to be working on this part here. Okay, so that's simply single crochet all the way around and we're going to do 13 rounds. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first round and then uh, we'll go from there. So as always, we're going to chain one. We're going to mark our stitch and we're going to do single crochets all the way around. Okay, so here we come at the end of our very first round of single crochets. Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch as always into that very first stitch. Okay, and chain one. So that was my round one. Okay, so what I do to mark my rounds is I have a, a counter here. So every time I click it, it's going to uh, count my rounds for me. If you don't have one of these, uh, you can do it the old fashioned way by using a paper and a pen and just marking down your rounds. Or there's an application that you can get for your phone that will count your rounds for you. So that's round one and we're going to do another 12. So we want 13 rounds all together. Okay, so we're going to be single crocheting in every round and we're going to connect it with a slip stitch and chain one to start the next round. Okay, so I'm now here at the end of my round 13. Finish off my last two stitches here. And normally what would happen is we would uh, insert our hook and we would do a slip stitch in order to connect that last stitch with the first stitch. But what I'm gonna do today is show you how to do that uh, so that we're binding off and it's an, an invisible stitch. So to do that, we're just gonna cut the yarn, okay? and we're going to pull that yarn through okay so it looks like this okay so now when you look at it you can see that the yarn is coming out of what was our v okay so we're going to thread our needle and we are going to take that needle and we're going to insert it not into that very first stitch we're going to insert into the next stitch okay the stitch after that because what we're doing is we're creating a fake stitch to make it look like it's connected. Okay, so we're gonna insert our needle into both legs of the second stitch. Okay, you're gonna pull it. So what we're doing is we're covering that first stitch with our fake stitch. Okay, so pull it a little snug there, not too tight because you want it to be the same tension as your other Vs, okay? So this, what we've just created right here is the bottom loop of the V, okay? So once you've got that, you're gonna take your uh, needle and you're gonna insert it into the middle of that very last stitch, okay? So by doing that and pull it through, 
you're creating the top loop of that V. So give it a little tug so that you can match the same tension as you have in the other Vs. Okay, so now you can hardly tell which V is fake and which one is an actual crochet. Okay, so now that we've created our fake V, we're going to take that end and we're just going to weave it in. So flip your slipper inside out here and you're going to take that, that darning needle and you're just going to weave it in the ends here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just finding a stitch and I'm just going to take my needle and go under it. There's no real rhyme or reason here on which stick stitch I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing some and pulling it through. Not too tight, just a little snug so that you don't have anything sticking out there. And I'm just going to do it a couple of times just by putting it under some of those stitches. Okay, so that it's nice and secure. So once you have it in there a few times, we can go ahead and cut that off. Okay, and we can pull out the stitch marker that we've been using the whole time. Might be a little bit difficult to pull out, but uh, just use that needle and you can pull it. Just make sure you're only pulling out the uh, stitch marker, not pulling out the yarn from the booty. taken out the stitch marker you can't even tell where it was and that is that part of the baby booty so the only thing that we didn't do in the very beginning here was that tail end from the sole okay so just flip your booty inside out there as much as you can grab that tail end and you can cut that off okay And there you have it. There is the baby booty. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create that edge around the top part of the baby booty. So to do that, we're going to be using the uh, second yarn that we have. And this one is a 100% acrylic and uh, it's the Amigo yarn. It's a little bit softer uh, because the one that we've got here is, ha is part cotton and part acrylic. So this one here is just 100% acrylic, so it's a little bit softer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to work from the inside of the booty, not the outside of the booty, because what we want is we want to just have it uh, on the outside of uh, this part here. So we're going to be doing the same thing as we did uh, in the very beginning, whereas we're only going to be working the back loop only. Okay, so that again leaves that little bit of a ridge so that it shows that the uh, edging is going to be just on the bottom. Okay. So we're going to grab one of the uh, stitches from the back of the baby booty. It doesn't really matter which stitch that you use. So we're going to insert our hook into that back loop only. Okay. And we're going to wrap the yarn tail around that hook and pull it through. Okay. So you've now just got the yarn. Uh, slip stitched through that back lip loop only. So in order to secure it, what we're going to do here is we're going to just chain. Okay. So now our yarn is secure into that back loop. So we're going to be doing half double crochets all the way around in that back loop only. So in that very first one that we just attached our yarn to, we're still going to use that same hole. Okay. Because what we just did is we just attached the yarn. We actually didn't put a stitch in it yet. So we're going to half double crochet here. So we're going to wrap our yarn, insert into that back loop only. Okay. And again, we're going to attach, we're going to, we're going to hook that, that tail in here as well so that we can make sure it's um, secured. So make sure that your tail is on top of your hook and pull that yarn through and again through all three loops on your hook. Okay. So again, back loop only, half double crochet, wrap the yarn around your hook, insert into that back loop only, 
Okay, and make sure that that tail is on top of your crochet hook. Wrap the yarn, pull through, and pull through all three loops. Okay, so there's two half double crochets. We're gonna do that again. Wrap the yarn, back loop only. Let's continue with the tail there so that we make sure it's secured. Okay, and the next one, I'm gonna put the, the tail in this one as well. So now we've got the tail secured under four of those half double crochets. So at this point, I don't really worry about that tail anymore. So we're gonna continue around the slipper by doing the half double crochets on the back loop only. So here we go. So here I am at the end of that round one. Okay, so I've got my last double, half double crochet in that last stitch. And we're going to do the same thing as we did uh, as when we started. So we're going to slip stitch into that very first half double crochet. And we're going to chain one. Okay, so we're going to do one more round of half double crochets all the way around the booty. So again, we're going to, this time we're going to be working um, both legs of that V, not just the back loop. We're going to be working both loops. Okay, so half double crochet in every single stitch all around the booty. Here we are at the end of round two of the uh, baby booty. And again, uh, we're going to do the same thing as we did uh, with the, um, the other yarn. Uh, we're going to do that invisible bind off, okay? So cut the yarn and pull it through. We're gonna use our needle again. So thread your needle. And we're going to insert it into, not the first one, but we're going to put it in that second V, okay? So insert into that second V, and then back around into that last stitch so you can see the V here. And when I'm doing that, I'm just gonna hook just some more yarn in the bottom part there, just to secure it a little bit more, okay? And again, we're gonna make it snug, but not too snug, we want it to look like the other V's. So tighten it up until you can see that it's about the same um, tension as the other ones. Okay, so once you've done that, you can now take that end and weave through. Again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just putting that needle through any of the loops that I can grab. It's a good idea to go both ways. Uh, that way it's gonna secure it a little bit more. So I've gone one way and now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put my yarn through the other way. So now I know that my end is secure. I can cut that piece off. And that's the end of your, oh, that's that 
first tail. We're going to cut that one off as well. And that's it. There's the baby booty. We'll flip that down a little bit. And there you have it. What I like to do to give it a little bit of shape is throw some rice in there. And then you can see that it has a little bit better shape once you fill it with something. And there you go. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Uh, just a reminder that we will be having the live Zoom session on the 15th of March. So if you have any questions or if you had any problems making these booties, I'll be there to help you out. So yeah, in the meantime, just have fun with it and uh, we'll see you on the 15th of March. Can't wait to see your booties.